So I just thought I'd do a quick tutorial. Um, we'll start with some basics for like importing brushes. Um, so when you download Clip Studio, you've got this program here and you can open it up and you're given like the, the main menu which shows you like all the latest news. So all you want to do is click assets and it gets you to here. And you can actually search for specific things that you need. So like if you want a specific brush or texture or things like that. So I'll just pick this brush, it looks pretty popular. And all you gotta do is download it. So it's just up here. And once it's downloaded, um, you see these um, two way arrows up here and it's got a little one. So that's showing that it's downloading the material to your program. Okay, there we go. So it's downloaded. Now, um, all you've got to do is go to your own material and you can see here I have all of my material. So these are things that I've previously downloaded and including brushes and, and specific things like textures and stuff like that. So once you've downloaded one, you just go to it and it's pretty much just like a drag and drop for Clip Studio. So make sure you're on the right thing first. So this is a brush. I don't know whether it's pencil or not, but I'll pick brushes here. You just drag and drop. And there it is. That's our new brush already imported into the program. So that's one of the methods you can do it. And it's really handy. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of textures so um, and patterns. So like here is a, a sparkling one that I use and all the different lineups and brushes that I've used. So there's lots of free resources, which is excellent. Otherwise, your other option is downloading brushes online. So I have a brush set which I got from DeviantArt. So that's this brush set here. It's a whole bunch of um, zippers and things like that. So it downloads as a zip file um, and then you get the brushes out. And the brushes that you should get for um, Clip Studio are these um, SUT files. So again, it's pretty much simple as picking the tool you want it to do and dragging and dropping it in. As long as my computer doesn't freeze up and there we go we've got our chain brush downloaded in now so it's nice and easy uh, or the other option you have is you, you can pick the tool up here so in your sub tool section and you pick um, import sub tool so you do that and pretty much find wherever you saved that file. So for me, it's here and we've got brushes and pick another one. And that's another way to download your brushes. So nice and easy.